Hello, vlog. Um, it's been about over a week since I last filmed. I had finals. I'm still waiting for my grades to get posted. But now that it's over, Shadow, that's so rude. Um, now that it's over, don't show your butt to the camera, girly. That's, it's not appropriate. But now that my semester is over, I have been tasked, well, I was actually given this task last Christmas. Oh my goodness, Shadow. I was given this task last Christmas because my mom has a bunch of our old um, stockings and stuff for Christmas. I don't get it. She wants my attention, but she also wants to fight me. She's, whatever. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm basically remaking all of my mom's stockings for her because I was supposed to do this literally anytime from last Christmas until before this Christmas. But here we are last minute, like always. I have two bags of stockings. I think I have glitter glue in one of these bags, but if not, I did buy some just in case and hopefully I don't run out. Amazing. So now I have, I have three then because I bought this and I was like, I swear I bought some and put it with it. So good, because I imagine I'm gonna try to use most of the same colors or like the non-Christmas ones. So I'm probably gonna have to shake them up very good because they're older. But this is what we're working with today, classic stocking. So I think that my mom mostly just wants the names on the white part, which is gonna be fine. I just need to go get scissors and cut all these. I just cut off all the tags on these. And just a small disclaimer, this is not really so much a DIY as to, I'm just gonna show you how I'm doing this. I picked out all of the Christmassy colors out of the glitter glue. These are just the Elmer's glitter glue. I got these at Walgreens. They're sometimes on sale usually, but anyways, I've got more red than anything. So I think what I'm gonna do is alternate colors with everyone's name. I wrote everybody's name down so I don't forget anybody because that'd be bad. And hopefully there's enough stockings for everyone. And I think I'm gonna try to pull like the white down as much as possible. So I actually have like good room. And since they hang like this, I think I'm gonna write the name on this side. So the boot points to my left. I'm not sure how much battery is gonna survive on the GoPro. So I'm gonna film as much as I can. And hopefully you'll be along with me. Okay, good, I don't have to break anything open. So I think I'm just gonna start at the bottom of my list and go up because I wanna do mine last because I I don't wanna do like mine extra good and then everyone's really bad. So we're gonna start on the bottom of my list with my cousin Donnie, cause he might come over for Christmas or my mom's doing a stocking for him, I guess. I don't know. She asked me to do one for him, so. And hopefully I remember to talk. Oh, you know, I could just talk about like what um, I've been up to, I guess, while we do this. Okay, now that I have kind of like a flow, I'm gonna try to talk a little bit. No promises because I know when I'm doing things like this, I just get like so silent. So anyways, um, let's see, this past weekend, Mark and I celebrated eight years together. Although we did get married in August, I still enjoy that we celebrate our first anniversary. We were supposed to go to the casino one of the days, but that didn't work out. So we're gonna go on Friday. We did go out to a fancy restaurant. We went, well, not really super fancy, but we went to we went to somewhere we haven't gone to before basically. And it was a fancier restaurant, not like dress code fancy, but it was a nicer restaurant than like Texas Roadhouse or Chili's. So we went to Burton's, I believe it's a chain. I don't know, it's a nicer restaurant, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. You can let me know in the comments if you disagree. But I very much enjoyed it. They have a very good spinach and artichoke dip. Like, phenomenally good. It's very garlicky, which, I mean, I love, I love garlic so much. I know Mark and I wanna like try to learn how to make it, but I think it's really just like a very garlicky dip. Anyways, Donnie's is done. So I'm gonna go put it on my counter to dry. That's how we celebrated our eight years for the most part. We also did play some games. We played, of course, some Counter-Strike 2, my favorite. I wanna see if there's like a way that I can, cause now you can like download the old gameplays and games that you're in. I wanna see if I can like download some of my gameplay from that. Cause there's a few games that we played that I did like, I guess in my opinion, unnaturally good, so. I just, I want to look at it and maybe like edit it and upload it. 
would be cool. And then we also started a new Valheim world. So like, if you don't know me, uh, we started playing Valheim when Mark and I first ever got COVID and we literally, oh my God, played so much. And then we dropped it for a while because we were on our Valorant like wave. And then we got back into Valheim again. But now there's new worlds and all the old seeds, like there's like two new, I guess, biomes is what they call their different areas. So there's two new ones. So basically if you have like a really old seed is what they call the different worlds. Like if you're familiar with Minecraft, it works kind of similarly. Unfortunately, you can't always get all the biomes in your old worlds. So we were like, whatever, we'll start from scratch. So that is what we did um, on our anniversary weekend because nobody was on one day to play games. And then of course, after we started that, everyone got on late night. So we just were playing some of that. And then let's see, what else did we do? We did do some other things. Oh, we went to Ulta and I spent all of my points. So maybe I'll make a video on like what I got and stuff. Cause I don't know. I think people like that kind of stuff. I'll, pro I'll probably honestly do that as a video. Don't be surprised if you see it from me. We went to his mom's on Sunday cause we usually go to his mom's every Sunday. Although obviously with this Sunday being Christmas Eve, we're gonna be going, I feel like everywhere. So yeah, I think that's basically what we did this weekend. And then Monday and Tuesday, he also had off. So Monday he worked, uh, we had a bad storm, but he still did my car's oil change. So thank you, Mark for that i appreciate you sorry i was very hard thinking about if i should write my l's like i usually do or like a straight line so okay next on my list is my hopefully future sister-in-law amanda <laughs> she is also a youtuber and she might hate me for plugging her youtube channel maybe not hate me but i am her number one fan and she claims she is my number one fan so I believe it, but we're gonna do hers and we're gonna do hers in gold. Cause I don't know. I just feel like gold isn't a, is a color for her, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. She's, I, she's very similar to me. So I guess if you like me, you should look at her channel. I will plug it. Give me a second. Let me just write her A. So I hope soon she starts to post videos again because um, my YouTube feed, boring. It's boring. And I need someone interesting to watch like her. Oh, it's time to be real. We gotta do this first. I'm sorry, Amanda. Amanda Lynn, subscribe to her. You should. I I want her to start posting again. Um, hopefully she starts posting again soon. And um, if not, hopefully our family vacation will motivate her because I'm gonna be filming on our family vacation and she's gonna be there. So she's gonna be making appearances whether she likes it or not. Just kidding. Only if she wants to. I'm sure she wouldn't care. I think I did a good job spacing some of this, but some of my letters could be better. Ha ha ha. Imagine I did her YouTube handle instead. I think then she would kill me. And I don't know if my mom would be happy with that. <laughs> okay. Whew, one letter down, four more to go. This is definitely not as stressful as my finals, though, I'll tell you that. I'm very, I'm very happy classes are over. I'm just not so much worried but I don't know. I feel like final grades always makes me nervous because even if I do good, I'm just anxious that I'm not gonna do good. Why am I like that? I don't know, I couldn't tell you. But also I was taking some very challenging math classes and one of my professors got um, evaluated, which means he was observed because there was very much uh, numerous complaints between his teaching style and his grading criteria. I think I've complained about it like maybe once before on my channel during the semester. It kind of sucks when you have professors who just grade papers like all differently. Like literally you'll have like the exact same problems as someone else and you'll have the exact same answers, but yet you will have different grades. It makes no sense. I mean, it was just a hard class in general. If you know anything about like majoring in mathematics, real analysis is a very hard class. Not even just majoring in mathematics, if you're doing actuary sciences, you need to know, you need to do not just the first real analysis, but the second one, which that professor also teaches. Thankfully, I am not going into actuary science. So I do not have to take the second class. 
I think he needs to let loose a little more. He started letting loose towards the end of the semester, but I think he just needs to be a little bit more, like not real, but real. But Peter is done. Thankfully, I did myself a favor and I this extra battery is fully charged. So, tis good, tis good. So, on to the next. I'm like excited for Christmas, not just cause like, like presents and whatnot, but just like, I get to actually see my brothers and I don't know. It's nice to see everybody, even though I'm like a hermit and I do enjoy my staying home and hiding. It's nice to see everyone. Okay, oof. I need to make careful of my size here. Okay, let me just do the Y and I'll continue talking. <laughs> Not quite a Taylor Y, because I would have just crossed my loops more. My handwriting is very loopy, but Ashley's is done. On to the next. Oh, I had this video idea and I think it's kind of crazy because I don't know. I started filming a video like this time last year, like a thrift flip of a dress. And I know I have the footage somewhere of like what I had started. And then I don't know really why, I forgot why I stopped doing it. But it is a dress that has been sitting on my mannequin in my basement for forever now. And I'm wondering if I should just do like a really weirdly hodgepodge like Christmas pre past and present uh, DIY. Cause that's basically what it is, is it not? So like, is that not a somewhat good idea? I don't know, I, th I think it might be. And I think I also did Nikolai's name a little too small in reference to the entire stocking. Ugh! He won't notice. He's a guy. Unless he's watching this, then he will notice. Cause you're not gonna be able to tell anyways. And I see it well later, okay. <sighs> Imagine I spelled it wrong, that'd be embarrassing. I think it's giving very late 90s, early 2000s Christmas because of the fact that I'm using glitter glue for the names. And I don't know, do people still do that usually? Maybe not. Maybe I should have used my um, embroidery machine, but that would take so long. And I don't really have that long. The most I want to have to do is go over everyone's name just once more if like it really needs it. The SD card is running out of memory, so I'm going to finish these and then I'll show you them all at the very, very end because I only have a few more left. So, see you at the end. Okay, I just finished. Um, don't mind my counters, they're a little messy, but look at that. Everyone's names are done. And I did a good job. So, um, my mom had two extras, so I don't know what she wants me to do with them, but I'm gonna just give them back to her. That's all I had today for you. I hope you enjoyed this very short and random video, as most of my videos are. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!